for this step, what we're going to do is each leaf is going to look different. And what you want to do is go with the natural curve of the corn husk. And for this one, for example, you just want to fold with the, with the, with the flow. You don't want to go against it because it's going to crack the leaf and it's just, it's not going to look good. So we're going to, again, we're, the, the steps are all the same. We're going to fold it over. You're going to create that ribbon effect on the top and you're going to fold over, not too much because you don't want this to bend and fold over. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place it and you're going to create first a row like this on the top. Now it depends if you want to have a pattern or you just want them to be random. That's personal preference. I didn't, I did include a um, photo of the reef. There's one on the website of how uh, it's supposed to look, but it's up to you if you want it to look patterned or if you want it to look kind of random, okay? And again, so let's just do that step again. We're gonna fold it over. And again, keeping that, keeping, sorry, keeping that ribbon because you don't want it to like do that, for example. So you want to keep that ribbon. And remember, this is wet, but it's going to dry the way you leave it. So you're going to fold it there. You're going to fold it there. I don't know why, but it reminds me of a baby's diaper. And then you're going to create that ribbon effect. You're gonna place it here, and you want the spacing to be the same. So it's about an inch, and then you're just gonna pin it. Now, one thing, you don't wanna to use too many leaves, and you don't wanna to use too many pins, because it will make your wreath bulky and heavy. So when you go to hang it, you want it to be light. So anyway, we're just gonna keep on doing that. 